2024 is the year of the airdrop, and I've got a bunch of crucial updates for you, some of which are just for information, but a couple of these you actually have to take action on ASAP. Let's talk about the Manta airdrop, because as of today, you can actually check to see exactly how many Manta tokens you're going to be getting for the NFTs that you got when you bridged ETH or USDC on the new Paradigm campaign. And in order to check how many Manta tokens you're going to get for bridging to Manta in the new Paradigm campaign, you'll notice there's now a gold button that says claim airdrop. You actually can't claim the tokens quite yet, but if you click on it, you can actually see what they're worth. So it looks like in this wallet for the new Paradigm campaign, I'm going to be getting 55.14 Manta, which honestly is a little bit of a disappointment because I bridged 0.5 ETH. Obviously it's not that much, but it's a reasonable amount. I guess though, I did get unlucky in the NFTs that I got because I got the three lowest rarities. So if you manage to be lucky enough to get some of the higher level NFTs, then they're worth a lot more in terms of the Manta airdrop. And obviously if you collected all six of them and combine them, then the first modular L2 NFT is worth the most. Anyways, you can check to see how many tokens you're going to be getting on the page right now. You can't actually claim them yet. That's gonna be going live in the next day or two. Next up, we've got an update related to the Manta airdrop, but we've got another confirmed drop for people that hold and stake Manta tokens when you get them. So Zero Lend, which is a DeFi protocol, is dropping 1% of their total supply to Manta stakers. And you also have to borrow on zero lens lending market. So totally up to you if you want to participate in this, you do have to take action by following the link here and then borrowing some assets from zero lend. But if you stake Manta, it looks like you're going to be getting multiple airdrops because yesterday I covered three or four other ones that have also confirmed. And so if you're getting some of these Manta tokens, what are you gonna do? Are you planning on just selling them as soon as you get them? Or are you gonna hold and stake to try to farm even more airdrops? Okay, next up, this is something that you need to do ASAP if you hold STG tokens and you're trying to farm the layer zero airdrop because the Stargate DAO has a couple of proposals open right now. And if you've delegated STG tokens, you can now go to snapshot.org and vote on these and actually one of them is to deploy Stargate on the Manta network. So in order to actually vote, you need to just select the proposal and then scroll down to the options, select whether or not you wanna vote yes, no, or abstain. In this case, I'm gonna vote yes. I would like to see Stargate on Manta. Then hit vote and confirm the transaction in your wallet. And it will tell you what your voting power is based on the number of STG tokens that you've staked on Stargate, if you have done that. And when you vote, it will give you a little confirmation. So if you're trying to participate in the layer zero airdrop, I highly recommend voting on every proposal that you can for the Stargate DAO because it's very likely that being an active participant in these governance votes is gonna be some sort of qualifier or multiplier. Okay, now let's move to yet another incredible announcement for people that are staking Celestia tokens or if you've deposited to restake with Eigenlayer because today, Altlayer announced a snapshot and they are giving an airdrop to Eigenlayer restakers and Celestia stakers. Now we don't know exactly what the cutoffs will be yet, if it will be one tier per wallet or 10 tier per wallet, but the snapshot for this occurred today and this is yet another token that TIA stakers are going to be getting and also the start of potentially an Eigenlayer airdrop season, which honestly wasn't even something that was on my radar as an option and I'm actually staking a decent chunk of ETH with Eigenlayer, so I'm very excited to see how much this is gonna be worth and whether or not this is opening the floodgates to another set of crypto airdrops. So stay tuned for more details on this one, but the token is actually gonna drop very soon. I think it's gonna drop next week. So I'll bring you updates when there's actually something to claim. Okay, next I wanna talk about some scams and this is on the Phantom wallet, but if you have an Ethereum wallet, like a MetaMask wallet or whatever, you probably get these as well where you get airdropped these NFTs that say, if you go to the website, you can claim your free airdrop. These are scams, okay? If you wake up one day and find a random NFT in your wallet that says you have an airdrop waiting for you from Magic Eden or Tensor or, or Marginfy, these are scams, okay? Do not go to these websites, do not connect your wallets and do not try to claim the airdrop. It's completely fake. When there actually is a real airdrop for these protocols, they will be officially posted on their Twitter accounts and people like me will tell you about it. So 
Do not follow these links to these random NFTs that show up in your wallet, please. Okay, next we have another thing that you should do ASAP if you want to participate in the Satoshi VM token drop because on Ape Terminal, they have a launch pad for new tokens where you can enter into a raffle to win. It's a very small chance of winning, but you can enter a raffle to win a chance to buy $1,000 worth of the SAVM token pre-drop at a very, very discounted rate. And previous tokens that do these pre-sales on Ape Terminal have usually done 10x to 100x. There's a very, very small chance of you winning. So for example, this wallet right here has a 0.11 chance of winning. If you hold more assets in your wallet, like if you have $1,000 in your Ethereum wallet, then you have a better chance of winning than if you have $100 in your wallet. It gives more weight to people that have more assets. However, regardless, you should still follow this link and just add your name to the list because if you do win, you get a 1,000 USDC allocation for the pre-sale, which will probably immediately be worth a lot more than that as soon as you get it. There's 32,000 participants in this, and even if you have a tiny chance of winning, might as well put your name on the list. Otherwise, I posted a tutorial this morning showing how to interact with the Satoshi VM testnet, which is another way that you can get exposure to this token. Okay, next up we have an update from Orderly Network. So previously, I had posted a tutorial showing how you can trade on WuFi Pro to qualify for an orderly network airdrop. And they actually just launched a new partnership with LogX. So now you can also trade on LogX as well as WuFi Pro. And both of those will actually get you qualifications for an orderly airdrop. Okay, next on the list, we're going to another testnet with the BearChain testnet. Merkley just announced that you can actually deploy a smart contract onto the BearChain testnet. And this is completely for free. All you have to do is follow the link here. And then you can deploy a simple contract and just search for the BearChain network. Confirm a transaction in your wallet. And since this is testnet tokens, it's completely free to you. And once you've deployed the smart contract, just hit on this button, increase counter to interact with it one time. And the reason why you want to do this is because by deploying a smart contract with the wallets that you're trying to farm these airdrops, it will make your wallet stand apart from others. It will make you look like a developer because you're not just interacting with smart contracts, you're actually deploying them to the network. So I recommend you do this and you can actually do this exact same process on all of the different L2s that you're trying to farm, including test nets. And the final thing that I wanted to mention today is for the Orbiter Finance airdrop, which I have kind of soured on recently because it seems like they're just milking people. However, they announced today in partnership with Arbitrum a new Galaxy Quest that you can complete to get an OAT, which is basically a free to mint NFT. So you might as well do it. There's a link to it down below. And all you have to do to qualify for this is to bridge using the Arbitrum network between the 17th of January today and the 26th of January. Sorry, and one final, final thing that you could do if you want to is to mint some inscriptions with the Layer 220 campaign. This is powered by Orbiter Finance, so it's probably gonna be linked to their airdrop as well, but you can also use it to mint inscriptions on many different layer twos. A lot of them don't have tokens like Scroll, Polygon, ZK, VM, ZK Sync, Linea. So if you wanted to mint some of these inscriptions and potentially qualify for multiple airdrops at the same time, what you do is connect your wallet and then select a network. This is where you're minting the inscriptions on, and then you select a received network as well. This is a multi-network inscription campaign. Then you can choose how many you want to mint and then click on the mint button down here. Now these do cost money. So this transaction is gonna cost me about 78 cents, but it's possible that by participating in this inscription campaign, it could have some benefits in terms of airdrops. And then you can actually track your inscriptions here on the My Inscriptions tab and it looks like they will have a marketplace for these at some point in the near future as well. So go ahead and experiment with this if you want. There's probably some benefit to having some of these inscriptions on all of the different networks, but I don't recommend spending a ton of money on this because it's pretty speculative. So obviously I'll have links to all of the action items from this video down in the description. Hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you later.